April 28th, 2015. Officially committed to Marist College, the honors program, fashion, campus, people, everything seems so clear now. This is scary, but exciting. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren Vecchio, and what I just read to you is a diary entry I wrote on the day I committed to Marist almost four years ago now. <laughs> I remember all too vividly <laughs> sitting in your seat at open house just a few weeks before I committed, and there's a picture of my dad documenting the exact moment it happened. Please, no one tell him I'm using this picture. <laughs> Marist actually wasn't my first choice school. Crazy to think looking back on it now. So I came to open house somewhat jaded. As my fa family and I schlepped ourselves from Long Island to the beautiful Hudson River Valley, the first stop on our college road trip extravaganza, all I can remember thinking is how scared I was. Before even committing to a school, I had already accepted that I would probably just fail miserably at adjusting to the whole college thing. <laughs> Little did I know, that by the first Thanksgiving break, I'd be referring to Marist as my home, and subsequently getting yelled at by my mom for doing so. But nevertheless, I stand here today, eerily close to graduation, feeling nothing but gratitude towards Marist and all the people here who have truly become my family. So, as a seasoned Red Fox, I'd like to share a little bit about how Marist has given me four years that'll serve as a benchmark for the rest of my life to follow. What makes Marist so special is our tight-knit community and culture. Speaking in business terms, it's our core competence. And for those of you who aren't business majors, a core competence is a characteristic or an ability that is rare, valuable, hard to substitute, and hard to replicate. Hashtag Red Fox Fam applies to the students, to the administrators, to Susan who works in the dining hall, to the alumni I reach out to on LinkedIn incessantly and to the professors, many of whom have become mentors to me. What really struck me when I first got to Marist was how comfortable I felt, despite the sheer terror I carried coming into college. By the first week of classes, I realized that college wasn't going to be as scary as I had envisioned it, at least not at Marist. All of my classes have been small-sized, and even as a member of the School of Management, a very large school here, I've been able to cultivate fostering relationships with my professors. My first semester microecon professor still reaches out to me to catch up over homemade fig jam. And through the honors program, I've been able to work on several independent research projects with a professor of my choosing. This professor who guided me through, who became a mentor, guided me through my honors thesis, a three credit project on any topic I could dream of. So as a marketing major, naturally, I decided to develop a thesis that was titled, A Study on Soulmates, why we love who we love. This deep dive into the cognitive, neurological, and psychological underpinnings of love and compatibility entailed an extensive literature review, primary research, and a 45-minute presentation, which of course I delivered on Valentine's Day with some heart-shaped brownies. <laughs> There's no way I would have been able to navigate such an intense project without my mentor's unending support and 1 a.m. emails cheering me on. After completing the thesis, she gave me a charm that reads, she believed she could, so she did. This is exactly the type of confidence and inspiration the professors at Marist instill in their students. Now, I have a theory that somewhere around sophomore year, everyone goes through a bit of a quarter-life crisis. And during mine, I was debating whether to stick with my marketing major or to switch over to psychology. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, choosing majors and minors can be extremely stressful, especially if you're not exactly sure what you want to do with the rest of your life. But throughout this turbulent time, I had a plethora of supportive advisors and professors to help me maneuver this existential crisis and optimize my class schedule, allowing me to pursue a degree in marketing while minoring in fashion merchandising and psychology. I was also able to squeeze in a semester abroad, but I'll get to that in just a minute. I was afforded this academic flexibility only because of Mara's devotion to making sure I got the most out of my college experience. Somewhere in between my rigorous coursework, I found the time to involve myself in an ungodly amount of extracurricular activities here. There's a place for everyone at Marist, another facet I love about this school. 
Since my freshman year, I've been on the executive board of the Italian, the Italian American Society. From planning trips to Little Italy and Manhattan to cannoli making contests, this club has been near and dear to my heart and has definitely won me some brownie points with my Italian grandma. <laughs> Since my freshman year, I've also been on the executive board of the Marist chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success, a program that helps students hone critical leadership skills through interactive workshops, webcast hosted by some of the world's leading speakers, and success network team building. The fact that Marist provides the opportunity for students to participate in such a prestigious program and has allowed me to facilitate this leadership development is something I have never taken for granted. Like I said, there's a place here for everyone, endless opportunities to explore, but even if you do happen to find something that's missing, Marist allows the freedom to pave your own way and build your legacy, which was exactly the case when a few friends and I created the first Women's Empowerment Club here on campus. After going through the whole chartering process, FEM became a fully funded club that will continue to thrive and encourage important conversations long after I've graduated. I did, however, have to leave my beloved campus organizations for a semester as I embarked on one of the greatest journeys of my life, my semester abroad in Florence, Italy. Since Marist has its own campus in Florence, studying abroad is absurdly accessible. One of my best friends is a biomed major, and if she was able to fit it into her schedule, anyone can. That's certainly not somewhat, something that holds true at other schools. Now, as someone who had never traveled overseas prior to going abroad, I had no idea how I was going to pull it off. I mean, I didn't even know what I didn't know about how to travel and live in another country. Thankfully, Marist Abroad Office is extremely experienced and efficient. So before I knew it, I had my visa in hand, and I was excitedly flying over to the motherland on a group flight with at least 25 other students. Because housing transfers over when going abroad, I was comfortably set up in an apartment with seven of my friends from Marist. And for the next four months, I was able to call Florence my home and shamelessly eat an undisclosed amount of the purest Nutella I have ever tasted. <laughs> I got to take fashion classes in the country that has style intertwined in its DNA, and I even got to take a drawing class taught by an Italian artist who could really give Michelangelo a run for his money. Beyond savoring the endless beauty of Florence, I traveled to countless different countries, and by the end of my adventure, I came back to America with perhaps a few extra pounds, but also with a lifetime of memories that I owe to Marist. Now, I know what all the parents here are thinking. This all sounds fun and great and everything, but the purpose of coming to college is to be prepared for a career at the end of all of it, right? <laughs> Let me reassure you that Marist Career Services team has it covered. Besides offering career coaching and resume editing, Marist Career Services holds a multitude of events each semester that connect students with employers. During my sophomore year, I went to one of these events where I got to speak to a Marist alum who's the CEO of her own digital marketing company. From the conversation we had that day, she wanted me to be a part of her team. So for over two years now, I've held a freelance digital marketing role in her company. In this position, I get to work closely with her to create weekly newsletter posts for fashion companies and handle our clients' social media accounts, something I had always wanted to do. The best part is that all of this work is done remotely through phone calls and emails, so it's a position I've been able to hold year-round regardless of how much coursework I have. If Marist hadn't connected me to this alum, who is still currently my boss, my career would not have taken off like it has. Aside from that digital marketing position, I was able to secure a paid internship for the summer after my sophomore year with a recruiting firm just down the river in New York City that fills jobs for huge fashion companies. And take a wild guess on how I was able to get this position. Once again, it was through an event held by Marist Career Services. From doing well in that internship, my bosses referred me to the internship I worked this past summer for a fashion company located in the Empire State Building. This dream opportunity would not have been possible without the connections I made through Marist. I'd like to leave you with this. I always say you can't connect the dots looking forward, only backwards. As I prepare to graduate and become a real adult, this line has been my mantra. Although the future seems a bit uncertain, 
Looking back, I can't hold any more conviction than I already do in the fact that Marist was the right choice and has prepared me for whatever lies ahead. My hope is that although you may be feeling a similar type of uncertainty about your future, you'll get a big enough taste of Marist to know that once you're a senior like me, you'll look back and understand that the past four years could not have been spent in a better place. Thank you and welcome to the family.